welcome to viewers today we are going to learn how to open and close a bi programmatically in labi support so for that i need to open the labi software first so let me open that labi you so you can see the software now it open and uh, for creating a new vi you we'll just go to file and new vi and uh, we'll save this as uh, uh, main and it main dot vi sorry not that's not required only main in the assignment demo folder so that i have created main so what i am going wants to do over here is i will first go to system ring enum and i'll create enum and i'll go to system and i'll create a button so what my main purpose is when this this enum is nothing but the drop down menu so here we will select the option that which we sub bi we want to open so for that option we need to go to edit item and here we will double click on this and we will write that sub bi1 similarly we will just insert another and we will write sub bi2 and another sub bi3 and we will just this is not required this is disabled enable light up only so this sub bi3 will move down it will move down to it will move so that 1 2 3 sub bi will have value of 0 1 and 2 So just press it. Press OK button, and uh, we'll change this name. Select the select sub bi b bi h. Okay, no problem. So here we'll select the sub bi, and uh, when I'll press this. We'll change the name jump when i press the jump button this will jump to another sub bi so let's start so for that i need to create a event structure and this should work when there will be a value change of this jump button so what i did when i press this jump button then something should happen inside the event structure so that boolean jump button uh, name Boolean value change I have selected. Then, then I just insert this viewers icon, and uh, I have some need some space. Then I will create the case structure, and the case structure input will be this. So you can see there is sub a one. Sub BI two, and you, you can add more case. So that is sub BI three. So automatically it detects the list and it adds the sub BI. So inside this case structure, we will program such like that. So when the event structure will run automatically, uh, this will invoke some sub BI. So how to do? Let's see. So first to do that, I have to create. Go to application in a programming section. Go to application, open VI reference, and simultaneously I need close VI reference. So I open the reference, close it. So what is the reference? So I have to give the VI path over here. VI path. So create a constant, and I am naming it as sub VI one. Dot VI. So it will try to open this VI. And how to open? Let for that we need a invoke node. So invoke node, 
and we select class this this to vi because i need to operate only on vi so that i, I change the input node to vi so i need another one so one uh, is used to open the vi and this will be connected to this this area will be connected to this and this will be active so that's we have to give true and uh, this constant will give standard this is a fixed one then we will just change this method to run vi so first we will open and run so two things we are doing that's why we are making in series and we will create this constant as false and this create as false then this will go to this this will go to this and we must have some error information so this is going to be like this so this program will invoke sub vi one vi now same thing i need in sub vi two so i just copied and uh, pasted over here and i will change this name to sub vi two Similarly, for sub VA3, same thing we're gonna be doing here. I'll change this name to be sub VA3. So, as you can see, when the case sub VA2 will be selected, then sub VA2.VI will uh, open and run. Both things will, will happen, and this thing will be happen inside of I loop because when the VI will run it will continuously check for a event that's why i need a while loop so it it checks the event when when i'll press the jump button then uh, it, it will run that event only so for that to check that whether jump button is pressed or not pressed i need a while loop so and that event also inside a while loop then i will just create a control to stop the program just increase this one press it like this then next part is we will create the sub we will save this and we will create a sub -VA. ok here in the assignment demo we will just copy and we will paste and up to this let name it as sub vi1 so we will open this and uh, go to this we don't need so we will remove all these things and here i need uh, i need to show some you know, message to the user so i need a display message and here i will show to the user that i am uh, sub but sub vi1 so from this you can see the sub vi1 dot vi next then i need a close button over here because this uh, next thing is i want to close the sub vi not by using this cross button by using some button inside the program so let's create that button i will go to some ok and uh, i will extend this and i will change the name of ok to clo close gi or we can say it sub gi so you can see when i will press this close button then only particularly this sub gi1 will close so how to do that for that i need again same uh, event structure and in this event will happen when the boolean will have some value change then i need to close the vi so for that i need will go to application in bug node then similarly select class vi and i need to operate on vi then i change the method select method front panel close so you can see select method Okay, in book node and go to front panel and into close so fp dot close it will say so when this event will run this will close this particular sub vi and i also need the while loop to wait, wait a minute control z uh, to 
check whether this close button is pressed or not and I will create a constant and this loop will not be closed that's why I given false and this total program will be closed when this close of BI will pressed so just I will clean this and I will save this and next this I will copy and same thing we am going to create for sub BI2 and sub BI3 so I will change the name it as sub BI2 then this one I will change the name to sub BI3 so I will open this and we'll go to front panel and the message window this is sub BI2 so I am changing I am sub BI2.bi and I will do this save then I will open sub BI3 and go to front panel display message here also same thing I need to change this 3 ok close close save so this also close so now we can see this is the main window so here when I will select the corresponding sub BI and then when I am I will press the jump button then corresponding sub BI will open and when I will press the close button there that corresponding sub BI will close so let's see whether it's working or not so I will run this and you can see I have selected sub BA1 anything I can select let let me select sub BA2 so I want to open sub BA2 so I will press the jump button you can see I am sub BA2 that means sub BA2 that VI opened so I just press ok then I want to close this sub BA2 so for that I will just select this close the sub BA and the sub BA closed similarly I will go to sub BA3 and you can see I am sub BA3 and I will close that Similarly, sub A1 and go to jump. I am sub A1. So, as you can see, that this is working fine. And by using this sort of uh, invoke node, we can open a sub BI and run a sub BI. Similarly, there we can close the sub BI. So, thank you to all for having uh, patience to listen all those videos and hope you might be get some amount of uh, knowledge from this and uh, and uh, and uh, good luck thank you